why Titan Medical Inc. may be my next big penny stock investment. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the clothing line to prove that fact. And today we're speaking about Tide Medical Inc, ticker symbol TMDI. So I know we're covering a lot of penny stocks lately, and for every penny stock I speak about, I've probably looked at at least 10 more. But we have been on fire lately. I called Sens recently, they went up 80% yesterday. We called NDRA as well, they went up 65% recently. We called TRXE, a company who's in a similar industry to the company we're speaking about today, at 116 a share. They are now 349 after a 68% move yesterday. We've been on a bit of a roll with our penny stock picks. I don't make these videos for the sake of it I really do only speak about the ones that I genuinely think have quite big potential and I think I may have found one that has quite big potential today so Titan Medical is focused on developing robotic assisted technologies for application in single access surgery that's why it's similar to TRXC we are developing our Eno system to become the new standard of care in robotic single access surgery with dual 3d and 2d high definition vision systems multi-articulating instruments and an ergonomic surgeon workstation. And I mean, of course, we're gonna speak all about this, but this is what it looks like. You're literally sitting in a chair, you see everything that's going on, on the screen, but we'll speak more about that later on. A few key reasons I wanna speak about them today. They announced a $10 million deal offering January 5th, first of all. And I know a lot of the time people see these things as a negative, but we have seen time and time again with penny stocks, these are genuine positive catalysts. The short interest in the company declined 14.8% in December. JP Morgan Chase & Co increased their position this company last quarter. Morgan Stanley did the same and Bank of New York Mellon Corp did the same as well. Some really, really big names are increasing their position in this company. Towards the end of last month as well, they reported full compliance with NASDAQ listing criteria, so they're staying on the NASDAQ, baby. And we're gonna speak about their Q3 results, the good things and the bad things, as we always do with these penny stocks. So my friends, right before we do get into the video, can I please ask you, do we hit that juicy like button? Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you think about this company. Also, let me know if you got in on any of our recent penny calls. I mean, the Discord group is eating baguettes. And if you are indeed new around here, my friend, please hit that juicy red subscribe button and join the family of investors. If you are interested in joining that private Discord group, that's the first link in the description, my friends. You get access to all of my buy and sell alerts in real time, whether it's a long-term investment or a swing trade. You join a community of nearly 1,700 investors. You get access to over 50 private channels. There is so much juicy information in there. Again, just yesterday, a lot of the guys in there made 80% on sends and over 60% on NDRA, which is up another 40% pre-market. If you want four free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. You have to sign up, deposit $100. Two of those stocks are valued to three thousand seven hundred dollars each that is a beautiful first thing i want to point out okay they have shares listed on the toronto stock exchange so the tmd and the nasdaq where the ticker symbol is tmdi so for most of us we're going to be investing in tmdi if you do want to play these guys their goals are to enable better patient outcomes by allowing faster recovery times and less trauma and scarring and improve clinical performance operating room efficiency and favorable hospital economics that's what they're all about what i want to say my friends before we get into this is of course it is still a penny stock it still carries considerable risk if i have bought this company by the time this video goes live i will have it in the comment section down below and it may well even be in the title but they believe there is potential to reduce surgical trauma and improve patient outcomes through the use of single access including single port and single orifice surgery versus open surgery or minimally invasive surgery. And we find out a lot more about that when we go into their investor presentation, which was only updated December 9th, so very up to date. So their technology is intended to perform general abdominal surgeries through a single access point. It's designed to deliver clinical performance, ease of use, operating room efficiency, and hospital economics, with the potential for patient benefits of less trauma and scarring. So Medtronic development and license agreements. Medtronic is a company with a $159 billion market cap, leveraging Titan's technology and intellectual property with license payments of up to $41 million provided certain milestones are achieved. First milestones met and $20 million already received. Titan maintains all intellectual property rights necessary to independently develop and commercialize its single access robot technology. They established their US subsidiary, so that's Titan Medical USA Inc. This is a purpose-built space in robotics technology hub near key product development service providers, serves as a US operational headquarters. And then Titan Medical Inc. remains Canadian domiciled. And then product development. They're recruiting technical management and engineering talent to lead and execute product development in concert with service providers. And they have a growing intellectual property portfolio now at 150 awarded or pending. That is a lot, and I mean truly a lot of patents, my friends. So here's the evolution of abdominal surgery, right? What everybody's gonna think of straight away is open surgery. That's what people are used to. 
Then there is minimally invasive surgery, which has been gaining popularity. Then there's multi-port robotic surgery. Then there's what these guys are looking to do, which is single access robotic surgery. And this is essentially the best case scenario right here. Titan Medical plans to deliver robotic visualization, precision and dexterity with triangulation through a single incision or natural orifice. So obviously with open surgery, I mean, it offers broad application, but it requires significant hospital stay and recovery time. And there's risks of adverse effects. I mean, yeah, it's quite dangerous at the end of the day. Then there's minimally invasive surgery, which has been increasing in popularity over the past 25 years. You're less likely to be at risk in regards to adverse events and requires highly skilled surgeons. Then there's multi-port robotic surgery. It says it in the name. So the technology differentiation. Now we'll go through it here, but there is this short clip on YouTube. I'm just gonna play it without volume so you can see what it is. But say for example, this man's a surgeon. He's sitting into this machine. The big screen is in front of him and he is controlling everything that's happening right here. It's pretty awesome to see my friends. But it is just nice to have a look at a few seconds worth of this clip, just to see how things actually work and how simple and straightforward it can be. So that just makes this whole big machine looking thing a lot easier to understand. So there's a 3D high definition display implemented to provide the balance of surgical immersion and situational awareness in the opening room. I mean, this is better than open surgery. You will be able to see more and it doesn't involve cutting people open. Single incision, I don't think this is one of the points that can be afforded to be overlooked. This is one of the things that sets them apart from a lot of the potential competition out there. With a single incision made around the umbilicus, the result could potentially be near scarless surgery. And I mean, I know people would much prefer that than living the rest of their lives with these scars. The thing is, as of right now, it has not been cleared or approved by the FDA or any other regulatory authority in any other jurisdictions. But again, to an investor, that can actually be a good thing because that's one of the biggest catalysts that a company can receive. So the system overview, it's versatile, designed to overcome multi-port robotic surgery limitations, smaller operating room footprint than multi-port systems, engineered for performance, efficiency, and cost effectiveness, which is also very important, and expected to provide a solution for an under served market segment such as ambulatory surgery centers and so this is exactly what the workstation looks like you saw how it actually worked in that short youtube clip but this is something you do have to read into a little bit more the multi-articulated instruments these are what's actually going to be performing the surgery and you can see all of the different bits and pieces and how it pretty much has absolutely everything you need for a surgery inside of them so a little bit more on their intellectual property because again this is one of the really important things when it comes to these penny socks they have to be able to stand out they have to be able to have technology that other people don't and you can see they already have 64 us and international patients issued and they have 86 pending as of right now that is huge and they have done pre-clinical procedures to the effect of 45 procedures performed to date these have been done at columbia university and florida hospital ihsu strasburg and you will see there is a lot of different things that they're doing here radical hysterectomy gastrectomies splenectomies colectomies a lot of ectomies no but realistically this is quite big my friends 45 procedures performed to date and we have promising physician feedback as of right now there has been nine peer-reviewed abstract presentations and one published manuscript so that is the basics of what they do now a few more things that I actually really like that they've been doing as of late. I'm going to start it off here because this is something I always love to see when it comes to my penny stocks, okay? So the short interest in them declined by 14.8%. So back in the middle of December, okay, there was 0.7% of the company's stock sold short. That is not a large percentage whatsoever. And you will see that since then, they went on a really nice run. They were at about 120 a share right then. They've been on a huge run, my friends. They've had their ups and downs. We will get to the price action later on towards the end of the video. But what's potentially more exciting is this. A number of large investors have recently bought and sold shares of these guys. So Stratos Wealth Partners increased its position in Titan Medical by 149.8% during the third quarter. Equity Service LLC raised their holdings by 218%. JP Morgan Chase & Co. raised its holdings by 170%. Morgan Stanley by over 100%. And Bank of New York Mellon by 63%. There is some big players in here. Hedge funds and other institutional investors own approximately 6.69% of the company's stock right now. Now, they don't have the biggest positions in the whole world by any means. I mean, not for these guys anyway, but still, they have an interest in the company. Now, back in December 24th, they reported full compliance with the NASDAQ listing criteria, which is extraordinarily important. And now, let's look at a few things from the Q3 report, from the Q3 conference call in particular. First thing I want to say is their Q3 net loss was $1.64 million, but they have cash and equivalents of nearly 25 million dollars right now. So yes, we are operating at a relatively small loss, but compared to the cash we have currently, 
it's not very bad whatsoever. During the quarter, we continued with the development activities commenced in mid-June under the development and license agreement with Medtronic, okay, that company I showed you guys earlier, who is worth nearly $160 billion, leading to the unscheduled and successful completion of the first technical milestone in October 2020. This first phase of the program was an intensive four-month effort and the results are a testament to the expertise and the innovative culture of our in-house and partner service provider teams. They are doing good things. They are working alongside these guys, Medtronic. So some business highlights. So July 30th, they announced that it had completed the design enhancements for the Enos. That's obviously awesome. They were at three different conferences very recently. They continued expansion of the company's intellectual property portfolio, which is extraordinarily important. On September 21st is when the company revealed the new Enos robot single access surgical system brand identity. An ISO surveillance audit was successfully completed in September. On September 30th, they appointed the new CFO of Titan, okay? He was promoted there from VP of Finance, so he's obviously doing a good job. They must like what he's doing for that promotion. They added a few names to the board of directors. October 26th, the company announced the unscheduled accomplishment of the first technical milestone pursuant to the Medtronic Development and License Agreement. And on October 28th, they received a related $10 million license payment. That's what's putting them in such a good cash position, and they're still working with these guys. So their net loss was $1.6 million, but for the nine months ended September 30th, it was $3.5 million. Considering the cash they have on hand, that's not terrible at all. Now, this is one of the things that gets me quite excited about investing in the company now. You will see that R&D expenses for the three and nine months ended September 30th were 2.26 million and 2.43 million. So not a lot happened the first half of this year. You compare the R&D expenses of 16 and a half million for the same quarter last year. The company suspended product development during the first half of 2020 due to inefficiency of available capital. The company resumed R&D July 2020. So everything that we just spoke about a moment ago happened since then. Everything that's happened with Medtronic is all relatively new and they're already receiving cash for them because of it. That is why they are exciting right now, my friends. They've essentially rebranded over the last four months or so. So look guys, that's really why I'm contemplating investing. Now, this could be a swing trade. It could end up being an investment. I'm not 100% sure as of yet. What I will say is that we're at interesting price points. On the four hour chart, what you'll see is the MACD recently crossed the RSI is a little bit overbought, but nothing crazy. A lot of time when we look at these penny stocks, everything's just up at the moon. You'll see that we're currently at about 187. In the pre-market, we're at about 199 as I'm recording this video. We have a bit of resistance forming right at around $2 a share, and we have somewhat of a support at 173, but it's not a very clear support whatsoever. It was more so just their previous resistance. Now, you can see that last time they broke through that 173, they went on a very nice run. They went all the way up to 204. In this four-hour candle here, they went from 155 all the way to 204 for my friends that is a big run up and i think we could see a similar run up if they can break through that two dollar mark that's why i'm looking at them quite close right now you can see they've consolidated for a couple of days in a row now not the most has happened and i think they're getting ready for a breakout relatively soon but anyway my friends that was my video on this company i have to say i really really do like what i'm seeing again it's one of those companies that i look at them and i want them to do well because their technology is going to make the world a better place which genuinely is really important if you watch this video all the way till the end you my friend are a true legend and i really do appreciate you being here if you enjoyed the video could i please ask you to hit that juicy like button drop me a comment down below and please my friend subscribe if you're new around here if you are interested in joining that private discord group that's the first link in the description we're growing very quickly for a good reason because everybody in there is eating baguettes we've made at least five or six nice calls on penny stocks this month we've added some of our long-term investments it's been juicy and if you're interested in those four free stocks on weeble that's the second link in the description anyway guys i hope you all have a beautiful blessed day i'll see you for another video very soon peace